Hey friends, welcome back to another amazing episode of the Fit Life Orange County. Before I introduce today's guest, I want to give you a friendly reminder to give us a like and subscribe on YouTube and write us an amazing review in iTunes. That way we can keep producing this content for you for free. So now to introduce today's guest who's been a dear friend of mine since 2014 with my business, Mission Viejo Fit Body Bootcamp, moved into the same complex um, is South Coast Freestyle Dance, who is owned by Lana Albert. And Lana um, is an incredible person, incredible leader, and she's been able to develop her life on creating community um, to impact the health, the wellness, um, uh, and the community here in Orange County. So today you're going to learn how to get your children and your daughter specifically into amazing physical and mental shape with this community support. Lana Albert, welcome to the show. You are sick and tired of being sick and tired. You need to lose weight, get fit, and take back control of your life. You're so busy. Work, kids, school, and other life commitments. Where do you even have the time or the know-how? That is the problem. And this show will give you the answers. Here is Bryce Henson and Jake Stewart, your host of the Fit Life Orange County, a show dedicated to busy men and women focused on taking back control of their fitness and their life with help from the ideas, programs, and guidance from local experts here in Orange County. Lana Albert, my friend, welcome to the Fit Life Orange County podcast. Super, super excited to have you on. It's great to be here. Thanks so much, Bryce. You are certainly welcome. So my first question here, and you are a seasoned veteran in this industry for a long time, but uh, how did you get involved in the dancing business? And then specifically, what is the backstory of South Coast Freestyle Dance? Well, the story goes back 23 years, if you can believe it. Um, living here in South Orange County for most of my life, I uh, raised my family. I started with the Junior All-American Football Program as a, um, as a dance coach to help the girls um, support the football players. And then at the end of the season, there was a one competition that, the, that all the dancers did. And um, it was pretty exciting because we started with just, I just started coaching one or two teams. And then it turned into me being a volunteer in the program for nine years. Absolutely love junior all American football and everything that it stands for. And being a side, um, being on the side of the cheerleaders and dancers, dancers on the sidelines. So that was a great way to start. And then after I was in for maybe, I don't know, the last six, seven years, I just decided, wait a minute, we're only competing once. We're doing this work all year plus supporting the teams. So I decided to work out of my garage and just take that dance, that same dance team with that same dance group, which my daughter, my oldest daughter, Joyce, was a part of. And uh, we just worked out of the garage and found some all-star dance competitions. And that was just as it was starting way back 20, 23 years ago. Uh, we ended up um, going to a local gym, Gymnastics for Kids, owned by Troy, who's an amazing man, and using his facility to practice a little bit. And then asked him, hey, what do you think about sponsoring us to go to the first NCA All-Star, NDA All-Star competition at Disneyland? Can, can we do it together? He said, let's go. That's how it started. And then from then, I got a chance to work with Troy and help start South County Magic All-Stars. And we worked together as a cheer dance program. I also had the opportunity of working at different studios and renting floor, just doing whatever I could to get the dance program started as it was then South Coast style dance. Then we... Um, Worked uh, worked here into this um, Saddleback Dance Center, huge dance center here in Mission Viejo, California. I ended up breaking away from Magic All Stars. They went off to do cheer. We went off to do All Star Dance, and I just rented a room. And that program was slowly but surely transforming into a smaller program. The building here, there were seven or eight dance rooms. So I went ahead and started renting a room. As it turned out, I started renting two rooms. And from then on, South Coast Freestyle Dance was born. But our roots are, are really bedded in a voluntary um, work out of the garage um, program that just grew into um, world championships. So that's kind of how we started. That's incredible. And for all of our viewers listening, um, Lana and I have shared the space. I think uh, my business, Mission Viejo Fit Body, joined 2014, and we've had many crossovers. A lot of uh, parents uh, come to our gym, and they've talked about you as being this legend in dance. So I want to provide that acknowledgement, authority, and reinforcement. Uh, whatever you're doing is working, and certainly your uh, backstory and your experience shows. Thanks so much. We do have a great friendship and I love the fact that my moms can drop their kids off and get over for a good workout. So it's been wonderful. 
Totally. And they certainly sing your praises. So you're well known, but um, very good. Well, I'm going to dive into South Coast Freestyle. Um, just can you tell us a little bit about the studio, kind of what you offer and then specifically like what's your area of expertise and you know, what sets you apart? What do you do exceptionally well? Well, when we started way back when it was just me. Um, and then a year after that, I brought on Anita, who's my right hand. Uh, she manages the program. What we do here essentially is we are a competitive, highly competitive all-star dance program, which is very, very, very different from a studio. Uh, we do focus on jazz, palm, lyrical, and hip hop. Uh, we compete in the same arenas as the high school teams. Um, the all-star um, industry has grown incredibly over the years. We are members of the USASF. That is a nonprofit governing body that oversees all-star cheer and dance. Um, all of my in instructors are um, background checked um, to a 10th degree. We are very proud of the fact that we are governed by this great program that oversees and makes sure that the kids are safe, the teachers are safe, the program is safe. Also, our competition season starts in January and runs through the end of April. Um, most of our competitions are local, but we do do some traveling. And at the very end, there is the Dance Worlds, which is an international competition that has over 40 different countries. So it gives the girls an opportunity to compete um, at an international level, which definitely sets us apart from from other studio competitions. We also believe in uh, team before self philosophy. Also, we believe in faith, family, school, dance. It's really that that clear. Um, it's extremely athletic, and that's what's something that we want to make clear to everyone is that we don't focus on solos, duos, and trios. This is a team program. Um, and we do believe that the team do the skills collectively as a team. So no one goes off the stage and lets certain dancers dance and come back on stage. Everybody stays on stage. And with that also brings um, an inclusionary program like no other. All-Star is such an incredibly strong athletic program where it really allows the dancers to come together and know that everybody has to reach that certain level. We do have beginner teams. We have variety teams, which is kind of intermediate. And we've got advanced teams in all the genres. So if somebody wants to come in and dance at South Coast Freestyle, you can. We start as young as five and we go as old as 25. We've got open collegiate and pro teams. And we've got a lot of our dancers that also go on to dance for their college teams, Ohio State, Minnesota, San Diego State. Um, we're very proud of the fact that our kids our a collective GPA here at South Coast Freestyle is about a 3.8. So we know that our students are not just all-stars on the dance floor, but they're also all-stars in their community and in school, which is a huge part of what we do. But also building dancers from the ground up. We have a saying here in the studio, we don't just teach five, six, seven, eight. We really work on teaching really good core values of teamwork and hard work. We believe in a push hard, praise hard philosophy, and we see our dancers become strong athletes in a very short period of time. And that is another another formula that we are very proud of here at South Coast Freestyle Dance is you don't have to take thousands of dollars of classes and private training to become a strong dancer. I believe I can take a soccer player and turn her into an all-star dancer in about three months. Three months. Ballerinas in here too. Three months. We get ballerinas in here that are beautifully trained in ballet and want to make their high school team or want to compete at an athletic level in All Star. And we're excited the fact that we can really mold those dancers, whether it be a ballerina, a soccer player, or somebody that just thinks that they want to start dancing. We're also the stepping stone to make their high school song programs. So someone says, What's a song program? Well, basically, those are the cheerleaders that are in front that leap and turn. They don't, um, they don't stunt. They don't tumble typically. So most of our kids do and are a part of their pep squad in high school, which both of my daughters did. They did their high school program and their all-star program. Our philosophy is a busy girl is a happy girl. So we do encourage our kids to be athletic and make sure that they are always 110% in their school as well as their all-star. Our coaches here also coach at the local high schools, Tesoro, Capo, uh, San Juan Hills. And I recently joined the San Juan Hills pep squad as um, a walk-on coach for their song program as well. So 
So South Coast Freestyle is the place if you want to dance competitively in high school, if you want to dance competitively in college, and if you want to be on a pro team. We've got dancers here that have gone on to be with the Chargers, the Lakers, um, the Ravens, the Rams. And we're very proud of the fact that you can continue your dance on into adulthood. So we're the place to be. That is awesome. So much to unpack. Uh, my follow-up question on that, because, you know, again, just observing your business from outside eyes looking in, I mean, you take it seriously, your girls take it seriously. Again, you have a very, very, very strong reputation just from, you know, all the collaboration and communication that I've received over the years. Um, before we actually adjusted and shot this podcast, your other backdrop was basically a, 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 a championship banner. So could you tell our audience a little bit about that? Well, the Dance Worlds is a competition, as I said before, international over 40 countries, started back in 2007. And I, along with a lot of my colleagues, were part of the dance program to start that back in 2007, when there were just about maybe 20, 30 teams. It's now grown to an international competition and has been incredible. Uh, we've been able to go to Dance Worlds um, every year since 2007. And the only way to do that is you get an invitation from event planner and a bid and or money to be able to go to these. So you can't just go. You've got to be invited to go. You've got to have an event player like USA or American Championships um, to be able to go to um, to this incredible event at the end of the season. It's in Orlando, Florida. The competition lasts about four to five days. It's at the um, at the sports arena. It's um, a competition that's unlike any other. Uh, it also has a dance abilities um, competition arena, which we're hoping to bring our DA team to um, this next year. And it's a chance for our kids to be able to compete internationally. It gives them a chance to really get to know the other teams. We've got a lot of kids from Japan, from Germany, from China, from um, the UK that are continuing to be friends with our dancers over the course of the past couple of years. Now, two years ago, when we went to Dance Worlds, we did come home with the gold ring. Our, op our open palm team uh, won the gold, and it was one of the greatest, greatest experiences only because we had been going out to the gold ring for a number of years and had got within one hundredths, 10 one hundredths of a point of getting those golds. So we have, we've got quite a few silvers. We've got lots of bronze and getting that final gold ring with my incredible coach, Morgan Beckman, it was to me the crowning glory. But what makes things even better is this past year, we had to completely re rebuild our program. We had a number of our students go off to college and we had to rebuild. So we pulled together our senior team because that's the only team you take to Worlds for in dance is your senior program and our opener college program. So we brought the girls together and said, hey, we got to rebuild this senior team. What do you think? They said, we want to go to Worlds. We ended up taking three routines to Worlds and very, very proudly made the top 10 in the world in all three after a complete studio rebuild. So it's been a roller coaster of um, competition there at the Dance Worlds. We have our beautiful rings and that's incredible. But I have to say last year, we decided to go with a completely rebuilt team. We took 18 kids. We stayed in a big mansion. We stayed together. And though we made top 10 in the world, which was wonderful. It was one of the best experiences at Worlds I've ever had. These kids came with full hearts. We had parents come that were so supportive and so incredible. So for us, it wasn't about the win. It was about going with a rebuilt team and experiencing the best we could. And I have to tell you, it was the best year we've ever had. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, congratulations. That's incredible. I'm certainly glad I asked that question. What's up, my friend? Coach Price here. Now, you might know me as the co-host of this podcast and the owner of Mission Viejo Fit Body. But what many people don't know is that I began my journey as a fitness transformation story. You see, circuit training and nutrition coaching absolutely changed my life after being overweight with a diet of mainly fast food in my late teens. Now, upon my fitness transformation in early 2007, yes, I gained a much better physique 
physique as there's overweight and lack lean muscle. But way more than burning fat and building lean muscle, I increase my confidence, my energy, and my vibrancy to live life. And it's for these reasons that many people join our boot camp. In fact, with our Ultimate Transformation Program, we guarantee that you'll lose at least 15 pounds in 12 weeks, or your program is free until you do. Now go ahead and visit our website at missionviejofitbody.com. Now thanks, and back to the show. Transitioning uh, to another question, kind of playing a devil's advocate, or at least um, you know, just human nature, we have concerns. So you talked about the accolades, the, you know, the, the success that your girls have from a high school level, from a collegiate level, ultimately from a professional level. What about to a parent who's listening to this, a mom or dad that are interested in rolling, you know, their daughter into your program? Um, what type of concerns do they have? And potentially maybe if they're just starting, and you mentioned this a little bit about you can take anyone off the street with a good heart and good attitude within three months. Um, but can you elaborate, elaborate maybe some of the, the standard general concerns that you hear coming in? Uh, and you, you can elaborate a little bit more how to overcome those and really you know, provide some reassurance. Well, the first and foremost, of course, is cost. And when you're, when you're a part of a highly competitive program, there is some cost. But this is what I always tell my parents that come in. And we've got single parents and we've got super hardworking parents and everything in between. And what I, my philosophy is money shouldn't be the reason that your daughter is not an all-star dancer. We're going to work around that. We've got tremendous amount of fundraising. We've got a lot of girls that want to come and help in the studio to help pay for dance class. But I think the first thing is, is cost. Um, our program starts roughly right about two, $300 a month. Our competition fees vary depending on which team your dancer's on. So the cost tends to be the first thing that we say, okay, yes, it is a significant buy-in, but let me tell you what you're going to get for that. Um, the next thing is the time requirement. Um, this part of the, of the county, we've got some very, very, um, very academic strong kids. We've also got a very athletic group of kids that tend to be in the South Orange County area. And um, there is a time commitment. So you're looking at two team practices a week of about an hour and a half. And then you've got your ballet training, you've got your technique training, and you've got your tumbling training. So really, we're going to ask you to give us anywhere between five and 12 hours a week, depending on the level of dancer. So if you're a brand new dancer, we're going to say, no worries, two hour and a half classes a week and a technique class, and we're going to get your daughter on track. We do take a break in the summertime. Our senior, our season ends at the end of April, May and June to just drop in and have fun. We've got auditions in July. Our teams don't really start really full throttle until they're back to school. So we do understand that there is some family time there for our dancers to, uh, to enjoy. But I would say the first thing is cost, and the sex second thing is definitely time commitment. Got it. Well, thank you for that insight and elaboration. Um, we talked about, my next question is about some success stories and between your own daughters and between all the accolades that you just laid out, I'm sure. And it's also the, the, the time, the experience that you've had in the industry and your business is just, you know, incredible. Um, I, I'm not, I'm going to be very careful and not ask for your favorite success story, but maybe just a memorable success story or two. To That's basically, so yeah, to, to color in the details and, uh, yeah, I love that. There are so many. I mean, I've got, I've had experience over 22 years of, of the loss of a parent and the dancer still in the program and having that be the anchor for the family, that the daughter still has some, something to hold on to during a tragedy, whether it be, um, you know, a parent loss of cancer or something tragic. So that has to be one of the most important things is that, these kids have a home here. They have a place here where they can relax and they can really enjoy being around people that they love and that can be there for them. Um, for me, the wins and the, and the losses, all that is kind of part of it. I don't believe our kids really remember those. I think they remember the fun memories, the pizza afterwards or the chocolate found parties that are in the studio when, it, when a routine is finished. I think that uh, the success stories come from our kids feeling like this is their home. So when I come here on a Friday late afternoon, get to mop the floors and get some things done, and I find my dancers here with their friends enjoying the space, they have a key. We have hide keys. We want, we want the dancers to feel like this is their home. And 
We have a refrigerator full of water and popsicles that are free. We have stacks and stacks of snacks for the kids that are free. I truly want these dancers to believe that this is a nice, safe place to be. That to me is the best part of what we do because I would rather have my high school girls here in the dance room hanging out than hanging out at the mall or at the pier or at the beach or wherever. So I think the true success of the South Coast Freestyle Dance is it's a place to feel safe. I oh, love that. Love that. Incredible answer. Um, my last question before we shift to the lightning round, um, and this is a health and fitness show, like our mission is to inspire fitness and change lives here in Orange County. Um, and you've kind of talked about this, so maybe just more of elaboration, but how would you say, say uh, South Coast Freestyle um, has been able to posit uh, positively affect the community of Orange County, whether it be, you know, uh, general fitness, mental fitness, uh, general wellness, physical health. I uh, would love to you know, hear some, some thoughts on that. Well, it's an athletic sport dance. I know a lot of people say, oh, you just do dance. No, no, it's a very athletic sport. I think that we do really push our dancers to make sure they are taking care of their bodies. I very much re um, refer to them as my race cars. Okay. We need to make sure that the fuel that's coming in is really good, strong fuel that makes sure that you're having a good, healthy breakfast, a healthy lunch, a healthy snack, so that when you come in here after school, you're ready to rock and roll. We are very much a program that believes in a good, strong stretch. We do ask our dancers to get a good, strong stretch going before they come into the program. We also ask them a four class to make sure that not only are you fueled, but you're also mentally ready. We ask our parents, make sure that when you bring your dancer to class, that she is mentally ready to come in and learn the routines that she needs to learn or to work on the technique or the tumbling or ballet they need to. So I ask my parents to make sure that you're dropping your daughter off with a strong mental place. Okay. I raised my daughters. I'm very blessed to have two very incredible daughters. My oldest is, um, works for the government. My youngest is in healthcare. And I truly believe that raising those daughters, believing that they can do anything they put their mind to. So asking them, asking my parents to drop their dancers off with a strong belief that I can and I will is important, but also picking them up. If it's been a stressful practice or it's been a little bit more, um, physically challenging, I really want to make sure that my parents are welcoming their child in the car with a very positive, Hey, how did you do girl? I know it was a tough practice. I know it's going to be better. I know you're going to be better. The other thing is my coaches are number one, they're athletes. Number two, they're educators. Every one of our teachers has a degree in dance and a degree in education. They teach at the local high schools as well as have danced competitively on their collegiate teams and even their pro teams. Most of my coaches have come up from all stars, so they understand the animal. They are very health, a very high self-esteem coaching. We believe in a push hard, praise hard philosophy, but an emphasis on really working with our kids to believe that they're dancing with, um, with an inclusion and believing that they're a part of something that's really important. I see my coaches, specifically Morgan, coming together at the end of the class and asking for affirmations. This is key. Tell me, give, let's give us an affirmation today. And one of the girls will say, hey, Mary, I just want to let you know I'm really proud of how strong you are. So the girls are actually there for each other. And I think that when you come to watch a class here or you come to participate in a class here at South Coast Freestyle Dance, our dancers are encouraging each other all the time. And I know that's because we don't have the solo duo trio programs. Like, oh, she's going to get this spot or, oh, she's going to get that that's not how we are here. If one dancer succeeds, it means the entire team is going to succeed. So believing that it's not a mean girl program here. That's what I think is the key to, to, to being mentally strong is the dancers that are in the class are there to lift up and help. So when you've got teachers that are absolutely um, positive and so inclusionary. 
then you've got the dancers that are a part of it. And then as I'm leading this program, I make sure that when a dancer is doing something, they're going to hear me go, yes, that's what we want. Great job. We've even got candy bars in the freezer here that I bring to a teacher. And I say, hey, if you see a dancer that you think is giving 110% and is all in, I want you to share this with them every now and then. My ballet teacher, Miss Rika, we just she's just joined the program and she's been incredible. I went to give her this candy bar yesterday during class and at the end of class, she broke it up into 10 pieces and said, they're all incredible today. So again, I really feel like we've got a we've got a program here that's about lifting up and praising and making sure our kids feel good inside as well as outside. Oh, I love it. Love it, Lana. You are awesome. All right. Uh, shifting over. You've been so gracious with your time. I want to jump in the lightning round, which is the last opportunity for us just to share some good knowledge bombs. So uh, for you, Lana, what would you say is your biggest passion these days and why? Wow. Passion. Got grandchildren. I've got four. I'm blessed. They all live within five miles of me. That's passion. When it comes to the business, I also create um, the costumes. So I have a manufacturer in LA that I work with. So I love to be able to create um, costumes that are thematic and that support our dancers. Um, for me, the passion is the fact that I can walk into these blue walls and feel like it's my home. And I, I'm absolutely in love with being here. But boy, when you see a dancer come in who's been working on that aerial and Miss Lynn, who's incredible, gets the aerial and the whole room is cheering for her. That's what keeps me going. I'm coming up on 63 years old and I can't imagine doing anything else. This has been my life for over 20 years and I just love being here, Bryce. I truly love being here. It shows. Um, congrats and that's awesome. Um, next up, uh, we want to basically uh, usher in some more dancers your way. Um, if, so, if a parent's listening to this right now, how do they get started? And do you have a special offer for our audience that way they can get their you know, girls signed up or at least experience a, a class? Well, we do. I have what's called a test drive card. Okay. This is a card where a dancer can come in and take as many classes as we write down as they can. With it, it's very interesting. In the dance industry, it's very fluid. It's ever changing. Programs are starting and closing and teachers are moving and dancers are moving. That's just the way it is. We believe in open door policy. Come on in, try us out. We're not going to pressure you to join a team. We're not going to pressure you to buy a dance card. I'm going to give a dancer a test drive and they can come in and take as many classes as they think they need to, to see if it's a good fit. If it's not, that's okay. We also have your very first class is free. Well, I've been pushing you that to be your very first day of dance is free. Come on in. Give us a try. I know South Coast Freestyle Dance is unlike any place you've ever been before. I've got parents that say, gosh, I wish we'd been there sooner. So it's, an, it's a come and try us out. I have nothing to lose. I know for a fact when they come in and they see Miss Morgan, they see Miss Lauren, they see Miss Lynn, Miss Bianca, Savannah, they're going to feel the love of these blue walls. So that test drive card is one of the best things I ever invented. There you go. Well, I would highly encourage you listeners to, to check it out, especially if you have a daughter. Like I said, the proof is in the pudding. We've been neighbors for a long time and the reputation of Lana and South Coast Freestyle speaks for itself. Um, next, yeah, of course. Uh, next up, uh, this is, has nothing to do with dance, uh, but we're a local uh, podcast here in Orange County and you've been in Orange County for a very long time. So where can we find you, Lana? Um, hanging out, a good you know, local spot uh, to introduce uh, some other great place in Orange County that maybe our listeners haven't heard of. Well, of course, we've got Antonucci's just three doors down. Best Italian food you'll ever have in your life. Of course, we love that. Uh, the San Clemente Pier is my go-to place. Every time, anytime I need to either um, talk to a parent or, um, you know, just go and have a beautiful sunset and a glass of wine. I mean, that San Clemente Pier is the, is the place to be. Uh, we've got some really great restaurants here in Mission Viejo. We are more than blessed. And the fact that we're right off the freeway, we're, we're really lucky to have some of the best sushi in the world around here and um, there's a couple of fun places too locally that we really enjoy so we're blessed to have some really great cuisine here in South Orange County absolutely love it here I'm a transplant but I've been here for close to 20 years and uh, yeah I just have a passion for fitness passion for health passion for Orange County so this is the name of the game we're blessed we live in paradise we do
I always say we live where people vacation. So, so certainly very fortunate and, and grateful for that. Um, all right, Miss Lana, this has been great. Where can our viewers find you? you have a website? Do you have a social media handle or phone number? How can they get in touch? Well, social media is a big thing nowadays. I know back in the day, it was um, pretty much just write a letter or make a phone call. But yes, you can follow us at South Coast Freestyle Dance on social media, both Instagram and Facebook. Our website is southcoastfreestyle.com. Lots of great information there. Also, click on YouTube and punch in South Coast Freestyle Dance, and you'll see a lot of things that we that we do um, across the country. So um, follow us, like us. Also, I know uh, Google has been pretty kind to us lately. And and also go to Yelp and you'll see some really good reviews there as well. Love it. All right, Miss Lana, this has been incredible. I'm so excited to feature you on this podcast, given our relationship and friendship. My last question for you is really just your parting piece of wisdom. And I know there's a parent there, a mom and dad, who's interested in rolling their you know, girl, um, at least going through a test drive. But for whatever reason, they're scared, they're nervous, they're apprehensive. What would your parting piece of wisdom be? Two things. Don't be afraid to be great. And stay curious. Just know that um, dance is a great way to express yourself, whether it be a drop-in class or a highly competitive team. It's a really good place to feel good about yourself and about your heart. But I really believe that um, if you just don't be afraid to be great, because you can be no matter what level you're at. And um, my motto over the course of the past few years has been stay curious. So I'm going to ask and welcome everyone to stay curious. Sage advice. Absolutely love it. Well, before we wrap today's show, I just want to thank you. I want to acknowledge you. Um, it's been great, you know, uh, getting to know you and being friends since 2014 when my business moved next door. Uh, but more importantly than that, you're a great person and you're a great leader. And it shows in the way you are able to kind of create this awesome community and lead your girls to success. And yes, I mean, the championships, all the accolades are best, but I love how you said the faith the family, uh, the school, the sport, that's the focus and that's the strong foundation. And that just goes to show a lot about you as a person and a lot about you as a leader. So I want to thank you so much for being on the show today. Thank you so much, Bryce. Again, we just love our Fitfoot neighbors, our Fitfoot camp neighbors. And I want you to know that it's really important that we stay together, especially as the crazy times are around us. So thank you for your friendship and thanks for this opportunity. It's been a ton of fun. Totally. Absolutely. We're on the same mission, um, just, you know, impacting our community in a very positive way with health, with fitness, with mindset and with community. So uh, friends, I know you got a ton of value today. Assuming that you did, go ahead and give us a like and subscribe on YouTube. Write us an awesome review at iTunes and drop your biggest takeaway in the comments. We'd love to engage with you. So that is all. We'll see you in the next episode. And thanks again, Laura. Perfect. Thanks so much.